Aries, welcome to your reading. Technically, it's your February reading, but my readings are timeless. So if you're here and it's not February, it still is your reading. So, let's get into the cards. This is going to be very swift because I did do a preview. But, now I'm going to go sign by sign like I usually do. Okay, there's a card already that fell out. Ooh. Tower reverse. Let me just... I'll show you. Tower reversed. Oof. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Did you lose some money? Did you lose some money? A big investment fell through. Okay, let's see. Let's keep going. Aries spirit. Aries, Aries, Aries. Four of Wands, thank God. And Ten of Pentacles. We love that. So this is good news. I was kind of scared for a minute. We do have the um, uh, Ace of Cups in the bottom. Some of you just divorced. You got the house, you got the money, you got everything. You won, okay? The settlement, settlement was in your favor. So Tower Reverse, Queen of Pentacles, um, you know, you didn't trust this. You didn't trust that you were going to get what was owed to you. Some of you, this could be about not a marriage, but like some court case you went, you know, that happened. I'm feeling that. Um, but there's something that was very oppressive, something that was very difficult to say the least but it was oppressive it was a lot of stress it was a lot of like oh my god anxiety how is this gonna go i'm scared i mean maybe it, i fucked up maybe i made a mistake to engage in this battle kind of energy it could be with your boss it could be with your actually why am i hearing your mother that's weird would you take your mother to court i guess it depends on the situation but it's a female energy here with this queen of cups uh queen of uh, pentacles reversed right um, this is very evil energy. Okay, this person is very evil. <sighs> Will stop at nothing. They try to throw you off your game. They try to destroy you. Basically. To finish you, you know? But guess what? You're winning. You're celebrating. You got money. You got compensation. You got the house. You got victory. You have victory. You got victory. Or you're going to get victory. So don't worry. Do not fear. Okay? You know, the, the four of cups, I mean, the four of pen, the four of wands is, you know, it's harmonious. It's prosperity. It's celebration. It's repose. It's chilling. It's chilling. You're chilling right now. And with this, you know, ten of pentacles, it's riches. It's also family. So some of you, yeah, definitely think this could be about somebody in your family. It could, could it be succession? Could it be um, inheritance? Somebody was trying to fuck you over with the inheritance, but you're gonna get what's owed to you. You're gonna get what you what is yours, okay? Fairly, there's fairness here. I don't know why there's nothing showing a court case, you know, like for example, justice or whatever. Um, but I'm feeling a court case really strongly for you guys. Let's clarify. Something about an inheritance. Maybe it's, yeah, maybe, okay. Because maybe this queen of pentacles is the person that passed away. Could be a mother or grandmother. Somebody's leaving you money, a home, property. You're getting inheritance. Eight of wands, communication, it's swiftness. This is happening fast, guys. Success, you're going to win. It's going to be fair. There you go. There's that fairness card. Six of pentacles. Yeah, because I'm feeling this energy of ju justice, you know, and court law, yet like lawyers, you know. So you have swiftness and success. This is going to be a swift success for you. Okay, this is happening fast. It's going to be very smooth. Although it might have not started like that in the beginning, but there's nothing to worry about, guys. Okay. Let's get into the kipper. 
definitely seeing a house. Property. Maybe both house and I mean a house and money, you know. A hotel. Toilet and labor. Yeah, this was not easy. Mm-hmm. It was not easy. This was not smooth at all in the beginning, or right now it doesn't look smooth. It's not smooth to you. Trust me. The universe is telling you it's just the beginning. That is like that. It's normal. Everything is going to work out in your favor. You do not have to worry. Aries, okay? Lovers. This is balance too. You know, it's harmony with self. So it's like you are going to feel so good. So good. And some of you... Um, let me get one more card. Yeah, be careful because some people are going to come now. Now that you got the money, you know. Mm, you're going to attract a lot of people that are just like there for the money. Because all of a sudden now you got riches, you got property. You're like, ooh, you know, your target. Be careful. Somebody, people are going to come approach you. Oh my God, I love you. I love you. No, they want your money. They love your money. They love your money. See? Oh, here we go. Judication. Thank God. Yeah, this is definitely about inheritance, guys. Yeah. Again, this could go back to that thing I'm saying. Maybe it is. You were married to a false person. You were married to a false person. Um, and yeah, maybe this person was a mature man. Uh, you were married to a false person. Uh, that could be it. But there's something about inheritance, justice, getting what is owed to you. Okay? Yeah. Let's see. This relationship, if it was, you know, it was a lot. You were doing everything. This person was a lot, a lot a, most, not only a false person, but they were kind of abusive, I feel. Like very demanding in the home. Everything has to be pretty. Everything has to be, there was a lot of pretending, well, it's a false person. You know, with the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles, pretending like everything is great at home when it's not. When you had like celebrations, like invitations, like dinner parties, you know, you had to put up a front. You had to be the false person because you were not happy, right? That's over. Let's get into some uh, astrological cards here. Let's see big shifts. That, what big shifts happen here? Or maybe get some signs. So you have Libra. Oh, thank God. Again, see, I said we didn't have anything about justice. Now we're getting a bunch. We got the Six of Pentacles, which is, you know, success. We got Judication. We got Libra, which is Karma, which is like, you know, the Libra card, which is also about relationships. So this could be a marriage. Definitely. Yeah, Venus. Mm -hmm. This was definitely, some of you, it was a marriage because you do have the Lovers and Venus and the Libra card. Right? Okay, so this is definitely some of you. It was a marriage to a mature man, perhaps. Doesn't have to be. Um, let's get one more card. So yeah, this is good news, guys. <clears throat> I feel like you needed to hear this, right? There's harmony coming back to your life. And you know, you were just very diplomatic. You were like not even aggressive about it. You're getting rewarded now. That's why, you know. You're getting rewarded. You were a little bit indul indulgent when you got into this relationship, you know. You went in with your heart. Meanwhile, this person had an, ag had an agenda. You do you and let them do them, you know. Who cares? The truth always comes out. The heart always wins. It's karma. See, you're going to be so freaking happy. This is success too. You got success twice. You won. You won. You won. You know, this is self-awareness. You're not, you know, you learned, it was a lesson. You learned it. So you're, you're self-aware now. Suddenly you feel strong. Your life force is back because you're free. You feel free. Your spirit is just like, hallelujah, thank God, you know. You can just relax, you know. You feel self-sufficient. You, you're happy. 
you're finding yourself again kind of energy so you're definitely winning this whatever this is that has to do with court though papers legality okay do i want to do some uh astrodice yes So this person could be Libra, Leo, I'm hearing um, Taurus, okay, let's see, so you have the moon, Taurus, and the 10th house, all your desires, everything you wish for, hoped for, your childhood dreams, um, luxury, you're, you're, that's what I'm saying, be careful, because now, you're getting money. You have a foundation, literally. Some of you, there's a home involved, okay? Property, like I said, 10th house, Taurus. Your environment is changing. You know, your your feelings, thank God, it's that freedom, right? The sun, you can actually be. And also, like I said, be careful because also some of you, now that you're in that bracket of like wealth, there could be people coming and just, because they have their eye on your money. That's it. All right, Aries. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Go check out my Etsy. Everything is down below in the description box. And I'll see you guys next time. I probably will do a, you know, it's Valentine's Day coming up. So it's a must. I probably will do a pick a card. So either, like, I'll do two. Singles pick a card and in a relationship pick a card. In a situation pick a card. Okay, so subscribe so you can know when I upload. Bye, guys.